Hi there. Let's learn how to play Hot Potato, a great classroom game. What is Hot Potato? It is a fast-paced classroom activity that can be used in any subject area. All students are engaged and get many repetitions in a short time frame. It is especially effective as a review activity when preparing for assessments. This slideshow outlines the basic premise and how I use it in my math class. Change it to match your content and have some fun. First, every team member gets a note card. This is assuming you have uh, teams of four and your room is organized accordingly. If you really want to get fancy, you could use colored note cards that match the problems. Whoa! Every team member also gets a different colored pencil. You want to make sure you sharpen these ahead of time or have a TA do that for you. I use blue, red, green, and black. You can use any colors you like. Start with the problem that matches your color. I put all four color problems up on the screen and the student with the blue pencil writes down the blue problem and so forth. That's all you do. The game starts, write down the problem and get rid of that card. When you receive a card, do just one step. Draw the line and write the new equation, just like you see here. Then the card gets passed clockwise to the left. You can also set your game up to pass it to the right or switch it some other way. Make it your own game. The next person checks the work, completes just one more step, and writes the new equation. Then passes the card again in the same direction. Teams continue in this way until a solution is reached. Then circle the answer, whoever finishes the problem, place the card in the middle of the table, and the teacher will come by and check the work. If a team member gets stuck and the cards start to pile up, don't be a card thief. Just lean in and help. That's right. Tell them what to write. Keep those cards moving. Don't take the card from someone and do the work, but lean in and help them out. As the cards are completed, put them face up in the center of the table. This way the teacher can check your work for each card that gets finished instead of waiting until they're all done. Incorrect cards will be passed back to a random team member for correction. The first team with all four cards correct in the middle of the table wins. Are you ready? Are there any last minute questions? Here is your first set of equations. Go. This is where students write the problems down pass the card and go through the process I just described. When we get a winner, I put the answer key up on the board so all the other teams can review what problems they may have had trouble with. And then just like any game, after the first round, then everyone catches on, we answer any questions they may have had. And we go again, another set of questions, same process, put the answer key up, and so on. Anyway, that's one way it works in my math class. How could you make it work in your subject area? I bet it will be fun no matter what you choose to do with it. I'm Dave Witcher at Hazelbrook Middle School. Hope this was useful for you. Check out my website, mrwitcher.com, or the Witcher Math Channel on YouTube. I've got over 200 instructional middle school and high school math videos on there. And uh, got some silly math music on iTunes, too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.